Hey, how's it going everyone? Coach Mike here at Hybrid Fitness. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over everything you need to know about your boxing stance, from where to keep your hands and your feet, and also how to shift your weight around while you're moving so that you don't limit your offense or your defense. Let's go. The two most common stances in boxing are orthodox or southpaw. Orthodox is usually for someone who is right-handed, and you'll set up with the left foot leading and the right foot behind, and then southpaw is the opposite. It's usually used by left-handed individuals where the right foot leads and the left foot is behind. Most people feel comfortable with their given stance based on their hand dominance, but really it's whichever feels most comfortable to you. In your preferred stance, feet should be about shoulder width apart. Feet should be in a triangle stance and angled towards the direction that they're facing. You wanna make sure that your body weight is dispersed equally over both of the feet. And good foot placement really just allows for solid balance and mobility, so you'll have great power and reach with both hands without leaving yourself too exposed to your opponent. If your stance is too far forward, you're going to have less power and mobility, and it'll leave your head and your body more exposed. If your stance is too square, your body and your head are exposed as well, and you'll have poor mobility and it'll be very easy for you to fall backwards. You also have a lot less reach with your jab. If your stance is too straight, it's going to be easy for you to be pushed off balance and it's going to be hard to reach your opponent with a cross. And if your stance is too wide, you'll also be easily pushed off balance. It'll be hard to reach with your cross and you're going to have really poor mobility. Alright, now that you got your foot placement down, where does everything else go? We're going to start with a slight bend in the knees. What you want to do is you don't want to be leaning too far forwards. So your head should not be over that front knee. You want to keep a tall upright back, but keep the chin tucked. From there, you want to relax your shoulders, keep your elbows in at your sides. Your elbows are actually your rib protection, so you want to keep those right on the ribs. Hands should be up right by the chin. Your jab hand is going to be slightly out in front, where your cross hand is going to be right on the chin. So it should look something like this. All right, now that you got the perfect stance down, what I want you to do is just practice moving your weight around. So leaning forward onto that front foot, leaning onto the back foot, maybe taking small steps here and there, just focusing on your weight displacement. And what I'll do is I'll give you a couple of quick drills so you can focus on moving around while keeping that stance. All right, the first drill we're gonna cover is the lateral ladder drill. This is just basically working side to side while keeping your stance. One thing you want to make sure that you're doing is every time you take a step, you want to land on your toes, not your heels. So you should be nice and light, always landing on the toes every step. And for this drill, you start on the back side of the ladder. You're going to take a step forwards with your leading foot, step forwards with your back foot, and then you step out into the side with your back foot and out of the ladder with your lead foot. You're basically just going to work your way down doing that. It should look something like this. All right, and the last drill I'm gonna go over today is more for moving forwards and backwards. So for this one, you're actually gonna start on the side of the ladder. You're gonna go up and down. What you wanna do is you want to take two hops forwards and one hop back. So non-dominant leg out in front, getting into your stance. You're gonna hop forward once, hop forward twice, and then hop backwards once. So one, two, one, two, one. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. It's about everything you need to know about getting the perfect boxing stance down. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more boxing related content in the future. In the meantime, remember keep taking those small steps if you want to get those big results. Finish it.